America's Ghost, Mitchell, Mr. Dan Lear. Hi, it's Dan Lear, and today we're talking about how to update your mindset. Interactive deep dive to rewire your thoughts, patterns, and beliefs. So today's disruptive workshop is an interactive type of engagement where we're really going to break down the structure of your belief system, how they're formed, and how you can construct empowering belief systems to change your thoughts, your patterns, and your actions by changing some of your beliefs. So let's get started. All you're going to need is an open mind, a positive attitude, and something to write with. So let's get started. So during this process, uh, we're going to go through some exercises. I'm going to ask you to pause the training and then do some work on your own and then turn it back on. So that's what you can look forward to here as we get going. So let's rock. All right, so update your mindset. We're going to go to 2.0 today, at least. All right, so here's what today's all about. We're going to talk about what a belief is, how your beliefs are formed, how to disassemble a disempowering belief, how to construct empowering beliefs, and how to rehearse your future. So let's get started. So we're not talking about an empowering belief, we're talking about a disempowering belief. And this is the kind of belief that holds you down. So you've got your belief, right? You're gonna watch me do this and then you're gonna do one for yourself. Okay, here we go. So this person says, I'm not a good closer. And I said to him, great, why do you believe that you're not a good closer? And he said to me, I get nervous or tense when I start to close. That's what he said. Number two is, look at my results. My results are not good. Number three, I hear a lot of no's. <laughs> That's what he said. He goes, I hear a lot of no's. <laughs> I hear a lot more no's than I hear yeses. And number four, I tell myself, he says, I have language. I have a, my self-talk in my head telling me that I'm not a good closer. Imagine that. So, <laughs> great. So let's talk about this. So if I were talking to you right now and this were you, I would say, great, so you're not a good closer. That's what you believe, right? And you say, yes. And one of the reasons is that you get nervous and tense. So question for you, <clears throat> have you ever gotten nervous and tense about something in the past? Yes, great. Have you ever gotten nervous and tense about something in the past and then you got good at it and now you're not nervous or tense about that thing in the past that you used to be intense or nervous about, yes or no? Yes, okay. So you, you get nervous and tense, but you've had something in the past that you've been nervous and tense about that you've overcome that and you've not been nervous and tense before. True? Yeah, okay, great. So that's just practice then. <laughs> that's just practice. I'm not a good closer. Your results are poor. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna assemble. We're gonna create a belief system. So I'm gonna teach you right now, metaphorically, on how to assemble an empowering belief system and also create action steps to, to make those references true, to make this metaphor true for you. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do the same example that we used before and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Then we're gonna pause the training and you're gonna do it and construct your own with action steps. All right, here we go. So here's it, I am a good closer. That's my belief. What's a belief? A feeling of certainty. Remember, half the things you believe aren't true anyway, so you might as well believe something positive. Because if you believe that you're a good closer, you'll do the things that a good closer does. You get that? Okay, here we go. So, I am gonna ask this person right here, if you were a good closer, okay, so this person had a belief in the past that they weren't a good closer. Now, I'm gonna construct a belief and give them the actual table legs, which are references along with action steps, right? So, now you're a good closer. Um, if you were a good closer, what would a good closer do? Or what are some things that a good closer would do? Great, that person would practice. Oh, they would practice, just like anybody else is doing something well. Okay, great, they would practice. What would they do? Well, they would get with a peer, a friend, a peer. If you don't have a friend or a peer, you've got a dog at home, a dog, a cat, a kid, a husband, or a wife. So you can talk to somebody. And you can practice, oh, this person says, I'm going to practice my assumptive clothes. I'm going to practice my, my alternative clothes. And I'm going to use my if you knew clothes. And I'm going to do it every Monday morning at 8 o'clock with Joe. All right, so that's what that person does. Oh, someone who's a great closer would practice. So I'm going to get with someone. And I'm going to practice these three closes 
Monday at 8 o'clock with Joe, and I'm going to do that for three weeks. Boom! I have a strategy that's going to make this reference true for me, right? Because if, I, if I'm doing these things, I'm going to believe this is true, which is going to help me believe this is true. So we've all had results that were not favorable in our lives, right? So we can look at a past event, like let's say I lost a big, uh, a big account. And I think about that, when I lost that past event, I felt less than, I felt, um, I felt like a failure, like a loser, I felt inadequate. And those are feelings that uh, go to people in different forms. But typically you feel it in your stomach, your heart, your body, you just feel this thing. And what's interesting about it is you have feelings about various things that you rehearse on a daily basis. You're literally, literally rehearsing how to feel bad and how to keep yourself in a bad state because we keep thinking about it and we feel the same feelings. So, so I lost the big account. I can literally feel that emotion in my body, which makes me feel less than. It makes me feel like I'm not a good sales professional. It takes away my confidence. It's not a good thing. And we do it every single day. So quick review. <clears throat> We talked about what a belief is. A belief is a feeling of certainty. How beliefs are formed. We talked about they're formed by your environment, what people tell you, and your experiences. Uh, and no matter what happens, your beliefs, half of your beliefs are still not true, right? That's why it's so important to find your disempowering beliefs and get rid of them. How to disassemble an empowering belief? We dis disassembled a belief that said, I'm not a good closer. How to construct an empowering belief, and we put action steps on it and then rehearsing your future. So, great job. You've just been updated to a 2.0 mindset for the new year. Great job. I'm excited about it. My name's Dan Lear, and keep up the great work. See you. Thank you. Thank you.